Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, sport. Okay. Are you guys playing, uh, like, uh, open? Look at my name. I'm doing some VOD review. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <clears throat> it is fun. Okay. Um, so we have... Uh, there's two okay. games. I will take a look at... Which order is it in? Oh yeah, it's in the correct order now, because I entered them manually. So we have this first game. You are saying, I'm a bull... I'm a bullpoint playing splat zones in the museum. I've lost with a knockout. I've stayed in the alley... In the ally zones for too long, am I? Question mark. What are my better positioning in this game? Question mark, question mark. Uh, let's check it. Hmm. Zelda wave. Interesting name. Control to charge him this time. And ask. Oh, okay. Let me see what I'm doing. So I think in this, I think I have two main one speed up, and then I'm, I'm about to shoot the whole bunch. The two should have uh, one main speed up. So I'm like, mostly in game, and then I got the yeah. The jet. You seems like you maybe I want to some get pressure on that. Oh, and this one I got like. Uh, remember that there's some delay with the stream, by the way. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can't talk because you don't have too much right now. Let me figure out the controls again. Oh, it's so so weird now because I need to use the other stick. Um, this stick is broken. Okay. Like my R stick, you know, to use the special, it's broken, so I had to remap my controls so that the L stick is for um, is for doing that, for the R stick. But the, the thing is, if you do that, then you're, like, it messes all of the UI, and also you're missing the L button for, like, sorting gear and stuff like that. Okay. Um, oh, crap. I, I wonder if it's a good idea to stay up there as much. Uh, I feel like you could probably... Like, if you want to be effective for painting, I feel like the, the long-range shots aren't that great. Uh, it's... I Personally, I don't play much full point, but I would have probably dropped down, used the cover of that little uh, thing, and used the, the close-range shots closer to the battlefield basically because I feel like they would paint better because they have a mm. higher fire rate. Um, yeah. It feels like I'm not contributing. Mm -hmm. Usually like whenever I play the bullpoint, um, and I know that's probably like a uh, gimmick mentality because I really like using the close range shots for getting like some very satisfying kills, but usually I only reserve the long, the long range shots as a like just in case right they're like in case you need more range but they're not your main tool your main tool is go mainly going to be the close range shots um because like mm. if you think about it about how the um, how the um, ball point really works it's like the first mode that you get access to the easiest to get access to and the, the easiest to actually maintain is the close range one so let me just pick the ball point uh, to Let's showcase go. what I'm what I'm talking about. Du -du 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 -du. Um, so here are some facts. Uh, whenever you start, sh why is it so slow? Because <laughs> I'm not running my speed up gear. Jeez, let me run my speed up gear. Two speed up and one in resistance probably. Oh, maybe one main. That's that's not running. Oh yes, run. this is much better. We're running fast now. So yeah, thing yeah, is, free. whenever you charge, mm. the first mode you get access to is the close range one. And then whenever yep. you do the charging thing, the, the recharge thing in the middle, when you cut it off, um, mm. it's gonna maintain you in that first mode. Here are some cool things about this mode. It's fast, it like, it. if you look at the, um, at the splatlings, uh, all the splatlings, I do think that they all have the same fire rate. Um, the main, the, the thing with the ballpoint specifically is that the the um, fast fire rate mode 
um, has a higher fire rate and I mean well yeah I kind of gave it away basically the close the range first fire. has yeah first close fire. range has fire faster fire rate and then the long range has slower fire rate than other splatlings so uh, if, if you try to paint with the close range as you can see it's it's pretty good um, it, it it paints all right, but then if you try with the long range, let me try. I'm not quite sure that it paints as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of spotty. And also, the thing is that you move very slow when you do this. So, mm -hmm. see what I painted there? It's like, that's the best you're going to be able to paint. And all of those splotches do basically nothing, especially for spot zones. And also, since you're not moving very fast from side to side, you're not going to be very effective at painting. Whereas, if you just... Let me, let me clean up the map. If you just use the, the close range one, you're gonna have some great paint output, and then you can also move faster than any other splatling, except for the mini, obviously. Uh, but it, it's it's kind of a good trade-off. Basically, like if you want a splatling that paints very well and moves very well, you're gonna pick the mini. Uh, this one kind of can do what the mini does, but not as well. But as a trade-off, it got a long-range mode in case it needs it. But the long-range mode is not gonna be something you wanna use because yeah sometimes i think whenever I, I watch your gameplay i often see you whenever you try to like do the recharging thing sometimes you just let it go to the long range mode before you actually start recharging which i don't really understand uh because um, personally actually it's like that when when you're not charging and you release it it has like half half a second less than a second of a burst mode and then you quickly switch to long range mode but in order to like maintain the first fire mode, you need to like um, internet keep pressing like Aries one second, something like that. Came on mm -hmm. like doing the first fire mode actually. So I need yeah. to do that actually. It's an automatic process. Yeah. So could, could... just vice versa, you want to maintain the long range mode, you just like um, let it fire in the long range and then like press short time and then like release again. Then will like keep on firing with the long range mode. Yeah. Yep, that's how it does. Cause, cause usually whenever I see you play, playing, or I I think it's you, whenever I see you playing, I, you basically leave it to go to the long range mode before starting to press it again. Which usually, whenever you see me play, you'll see that I, I recharge it way before it actually switches. Because if you think about it, you don't really need it to go the full length of the, of the short range, right? You can just interrupt it whenever you want, even if it's not much. Um, I, I would rather uh, mm. like recharge it more than needed to keep the, the burst fire that way I'm sure that it's always going to be burst fire because um, if you think about it whenever you, you try to fight someone um, since the fire rate is so fast you don't actually need much of of the shots to actually kill the person so if I kill them and then it's gonna switch to the long range after like twice the amount of time. Uh, and same thing, if you want to paint, you don't really. Because here's the thing, whenever you use the short range, mm. you're mobile. So maybe like switching to the burst fire is not really gonna um, affect your aiming or your killing time or anything like that. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna slow you down, um, and that's mm. maybe something you you could avoid. So that's just a tip I I'm, I could give is to try to recharge more than needed or like figure out the exact timing, right? The the because let me, let me check how much of the circle gets depleted before it switches. Yeah, I think it's like one third. Kind one of. fourth, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, one fourth. Kind of like one fourth. Well, then whenever you see yeah. go at one fourth, you can just um, start recharging again. And honestly, I, I just think you can hear it through the audio. You don't really have to look at the circle or focus on that. You can just focus on aiming normally and just focus on the pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, the, the kind of t the timing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my two cents on it. Uh, let me take a look mm. at your second. Yeah, but it kind of depends on your role though, because like in that match, I'm playing at anchor because the rest of my teammates are like uh, more like skirmishers or frontline roles like. So I think my robot by friend like anchor and then let him jump over to me like that. So mm -hmm. I'm like I'm keeping my survival rate high, but at the same time I'm not doing I'm not doing much of the match because like um, all the enemies are all back and outside behind the the tower right mm -hmm. behind the rotating tower right. So like um, I cannot do anything about that. 
instead of using inkjet to pressurize them. Uh, so let me read the messages from the eye uh, that is giving some tips. The good thing about ballpoint is that it, it has good close and long range. The primary fire mode should be long range mode since that's when it applies the most pressure and is the biggest threat. Okay, primary okay, fire mode. The first fire one, okay. Primary so, fire mode is then you should be on long at range first mode. I should like prioritize the main, the midline rows, isn't it? So, so like at first I can like do some midline. Midline like Close midline range is like mainly used for pain or if someone gets close to you, but you bo the bow point should be on the front lines where it needs to be in close range mode a lot. Well, here's where I don't necessarily agree, because again, the thing is like the painting on the long range mode is not that great. And also like getting right. to the long range mode is takes some time, right? And maintaining it also it, it can, can be a pain. It's not the most consistent thing to do. It's it's the, the it's long range mode is inaccessible I would say and here's the thing if you're not doing much of anything right you should yep. pro you should probably just use the close range mode because because you're like yeah you don't want to be on the front lines and, and using your close range but it's not necessarily about being in the front lines it's just about well if you're not doing it because because here's the thing if you were to sit on a mode if you're not necessarily targeting anyone what are you gonna do the most? What do you wanna do? If you're not like trying to kill people, right? There may be people over supporting. far away. <laughs> supporting. Well, exactly. And how are you gonna do that better? By painting. Like if you're not doing anything, yeah, you better be yeah, painting at least. Part, so that's painting. why I'm saying if, if you're not gonna, like the long range mode is useful. You wanna use it for pressuring people. I do agree with that. You don't necessarily have to get in close to them to kill them with the close range mode, but you have no reason to use the long range mode if you're not gonna shoot at someone and you know that you're gonna shoot at them because fire rate is slower um it doesn't pain as well it makes you slower less mobile it has lots of disadvantages the only advantage is that it fires from far away and is very precise for killing you don't need Actually, to be precise for painting right now it's good for a uh, poke too the first fire it's good for poking at the high grounds because yeah. then you need to know where other enemies are then it's a really good poking Okay, mm -hmm. the first fire. And um, yeah, in the you mentioned your your team composition. I would say that uh, you had like the two tri slushers and the flingsa. So the two tri slushers are gonna be are, are gonna want to be on the battlefield, and mm. they're gonna be better at that than you would be with your even your close range. But the problem with the the tri slusher is that they have a hard time painting from themselves. They don't have like terrible paint. I don't, I don't really know, mm. but like their, their pain pattern is really hard to fight in or use. And then uh, you get the yeah, flingsa. I'm not, I'm not aggressive enough. No? Um, well, basically what I would say is that in the game, if we watch it again, I feel like you, maybe you stay too much up there and use your long range shots and didn't provide enough paint for your, um, your tri slushers to fight with. Because that's the that's thing. What I'm, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. At least what you could do, when, whenever I can't really get up close to the fight but I still have a weapon that can paint pretty well at close range, I try to paint at least close to my base, that way if the tri slushers get in, in danger or like any other weapon, they can always fall back and whenever they're like close enough to our base that they touch the ink that I, I just painted, because yeah here you see you're trying to use the long range shots and you're just getting painted over really fast. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, that way, at, at least if the tri slushers get back to your base enough that they go into the ink that you painted, well, they've got an easy escape route and they can survive, which is good. Because that, that means they can do more fighting. The tri slusher that are like fighting inside the zone. Fighting inside the zone too. Let me take a look at my. Yeah, here everybody's dead. It's not good. Yeah, two down. Oh, three down. Mm -hmm. my, no, oh, three down. I cannot drop down. Okay, I need to paint the special for Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm using the, the Yeah, here it, it feels like you're you're trying to paint because especially if I take a look at your point of view, at some point I feel like you're trying to paint and focus on the zone with the long range mode, and I'm like, yeah, but there's a height, there, there's a heavy looking at you, and the long range mode is for killing yeah. people. So like yeah, either either I would have like painted. Dangerous. Yeah, it, in that specific situation, I would have either painted down with the close range mode or fired at the heavy with the long range mode. But here it feels like... Yeah. Oh my god, that's my, I know. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, that's why I got killed. I, I did not like react to the flashing class. Mm -hmm. And here's, here's another thing also is that, well, in, in that specific situation, I do, I do understand why it was maybe hard to react to the um, to the um, oh. heavy spotting being there up on the ledge, and you di didn't really have enough time to escape. But here, in my opinion, w the the reason why you got caught off guard by that uh, heavy spotting is that it climbed up, and you were like, oh, I need to react, I need to move out of the way, but you might have had a hard time because of using the long range mode maybe maybe not in that situation in that but situation i'm like oh i'm trying to show it like maybe i can really take it yeah the first reaction i got caught by the by the death i think it's the death the death like my attention got caught by the death was and then i'm like oh there's a heavy static in front of me and they shoot at it but it's that lost that fight yeah. Uh, and how are you guys are placed on the map? I think uh, I'm panicking at that time because like the timer keeps taking off. Probably. Uh, you died to the heavy there because you ran away from the closest co cover. That uh, is true. That is true. That's true. That maybe is true. I should have like uh, used the cover on the left though. Yeah. I have like, uh, got cover fire that I may not have uh, got splattered maybe, yeah. <laughs> that maybe that's why I got the uh, So let me check the second game in which you There's mentioned... Just tower control, right? You mentioned, I'm a... I'm bolt point in tower cannon control. Second last match, luckily I'm not in series rent here. It, is it just luck for me to win there? Are places I can do better? Or is it my gear? Salt got to be now. <laughs> um, okay. Let's check it. Guns Pretty good team on the other side. You guys got two spot wings. Let's see how yeah, that. Yeah, that painting control now. Okay. Yeah. See here. Okay. I'm gonna just drop. Yeah. I'm doing painting too conservative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understood that. Um. Yeah. Because what I'm seeing is that you got your side of the map already painted and you're kind of using your long range shots for a bit too long. I feel like it would be time to move forward, kind of drop down and use your, your close range shots to do some painting up and ahead of the tar. Because that's one thing you can do, contra contrary to like, say, the heavy spotting or other backline exclusive oh, weapons. Best you can kind of like, get closer if you need to. So how yeah, is that? I would probably get okay, yeah. Okay, let's buy it, that's good. Oh, that, okay. What numbers of vantage? Let's go. Where's the music that was this one? I, I don't necessarily know if staying on a tower the as the bull point is something I would do. I feel like I would prefer spots that are kind of like easier to weave in and out of um, of the long and close range modes, right? So basically just flat ground would be great. Because then if someone just tries to get too close to you, you can just back off and use the long range shots on, on them. And if, if like you're around some piece of cover, you can just move in and use the close range around the cover and then kill them super fast. Basically anything that allows you to move. And I feel like the tower isn't really conducive to being mobile and, and switching, alternating between your fire modes. Um, it is though, but I'm the one with the longest range of shoot and short range. Because like, well, no one's rushing to the tower. So like, I'm like, keeping the objective to check at that point. But that's I what I'm about to I get number two. But personally, I feel like maybe one of the best weapons to stay on the tower would be the splash because it can have, um, well, it can paint for its, you know, whenever you're in top situations, it doesn't need to charge, so you can just like paint at its feet. It's got a burst bomb in case it needs that. 
and it also has crab it too. Like whenever he charges it, it can just like hold it down on the oh, tower. Crap. Okay. And that's pretty cool. I feel like maybe the second best. Would be I, I feel like just weapons that can react for themselves and fight very Ooh. fast. Oh. That's a lucky escape. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going too well. Yeah, I, got I feel like the map is painting out. way too red right now. So I would probably like I I'm someone who focuses a lot on on painting. I I do see the value in having paint on the map because not having paint makes it very hard to move around. Um, so basically here you're getting close, but you don't really have how to move forward anymore. Um, same thing, like if you drop down into into mid and there's a lot of enemy paint, then you don't really know who's where and where you're gonna get shot from. Yeah, that's just why I'm close to the tree. Oh, okay. Well, that's Batana, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the point where I need to drop that micro gun. All the other weapons want to be front line skill. Okay, no, no, no. no. Get to the heavy. Okay, bow point should be on the tower in this comp. All the other weapons want to be in the front line skilling. Hmm. In this comp, uh, yeah, that's know. why I'm agreeing because like I'm the one who has the longest range among the comps, so I should be on the tower. Yeah, and also like uh, ball point is kind of mid line and I kind of sub like in front using ball point to like um one v one with people actually. Uh, so I, I don't know why people because I've heard a few people say that oh I have the longest range I need to get on the tower. How does that correlate? I don't know. It's um, like I guess since the tower is gonna be technically in the back of the players, then you're gonna match your ranges. No, because I expect like uh, people will like push in front of the tower so I can accomplish uh, back and uh, supporting them from the back lines actually. Because like you don't want the tower to be like on the front because it get taken pretty much. Well, yeah, obviously, uh, but I I don't see why there can be like for example the Nautilus, the Volpoint, and the um, and the um, the um, how is it called the Stamper in front and doing doing the killing because you have a close range mode Nautilus is also pretty great at moving around and then you've got the sword and then the splash can just stay on the tower I don't in see why the splash couldn't be the one that stays on the tower why would why that would be a bad idea um splash but a splash um in my terms it has the kind of the highest mobility on bound the comms actually while well, ballpoint and splash links in general also need to charge so in terms, in terms of mobility, it took some of it away. Yeah. Um, the splash is like, um, because you only need to shoot, right? You just shoot and then like swim around the paint. So, in terms of mobility, the splash has like, quite a lot, actually. So and, and, and that's kind of what I'm saying. Be it would be better on the tower, because it can it can paint for itself. If it, if, for example, it gets painted at its feet and it mm, needs to move to the other the side of the tower, and, it can do that. Like, people want rush. And then it can also kind of paint pretty well at close range, so whenever the tower moves, it can just like paint so an the, escape route for so you guys. So you recommend the strat like, okay, the tower should be on the front, so like on the ballpoint like... Um, sorry, I cannot hear what you're saying. Sorry, the voice is overlap. Uh, what, what'd you uh, say? What's your view? Um, I'm trying to say that, um, the t do you think that the top in this strat, that the tower should be like, um, be on the front line, let the big push, and then we. No, uh, I, I don't think the tower should ever be in front. Hmm. But, but, when we recommend the splash should be on the tower, right? Yeah, but, but there's the no reason. That's the that's tower. the thing. There's no reason that the splash couldn't be on the tower in the back. Uh, there's no reason for the splash to be on the tower in the back. So. You think that Splash should take the tower and me, Nautilus, Damper, and all points should like go in front? Is it like that? Or am I misunderstanding something? And okay, so the I6 is saying you shouldn't be worried about escape if you're on the tower because generally you'll be the farthest from the fight. Yes, I am not saying about escaping yourself from the tower. I'm saying as the Splash, if you would be on the tower, 
you can, you can paint an escape route for the others to get back to the tower and behind the tower, right? As they go forward and try to paint with their long, kind of like long range modes and prevent the enemies from coming in from a distance instead of like letting them cl get close, you can basically take their side of the map and pressure them from there, from their backline spots, but on like facing them. And then the splash can just like willy nilly just paint the ground like in mid. That way you guys can escape if you need to. Uh, Splash mm. doesn't have long painting range though. Well, they, that's that's the point. It doesn't need long painting range because the tower moves. The tower, so, the tower moves. The people will be rushing. You know, the enemy would be rushing to the tower and try to. Well, exactly. And when and they do that, you already got some points, and you tower. can you can fall back because you have an escape route. The ballpoint can ex accomplish mm. the same thing and pressure from long distance. Then every until... every weapon can do that. That's why I'm not getting because every weapon can do that. Well, yeah. Every weapon can charge. But the, but the only weapon that can, can charge, like, survive charge. like on the tower, you know, when it, whenever you get like, let's say someone throws a burst bomb on on the tower where you are, if you're let's say a hydra, you're dead. You, you don't have time to charge. If you're like any weapon that has to charge, you're kind of dead. Um, or you're gonna like struggle very hard and and not be not be able to do exactly what you want but if you're a splash and someone throws a burst bomb you're just like moving like this right around the pillar of the tower if there's a sp if someone for example s the enemies just throw their all of their subs at you one's gonna throw um, a burst bomb to prevent you from moving the other one has thrown a splat bomb and the splat bomb is gonna explode and you can't really get to the other side because you're trying to charge a weapon trying to paint trying to move and here with the splash you're just like boom boom other side it's as easy as that. If you're struggling way too hard, burst bomb, bam, you can move again. See, if you need to escape, you just paint, oh, jump off the tower, and you're, you're out. So that's one oh, person mm. less that's gonna die. That app, app, but Actually, charge weapons, um, it might interfere. You can ju just like charge like short period of time. It's mostly close to a tap shot, just a charge small period of time, or just tap shot. It also paints your feet, and then you can like escape pretty fast, like that. Be a a tap shot is also an exit charge, it's but it's, it's just a not a really good thing to deal damage of paint, it's just like to paint your feet Pl and get Plus, I, I, I guess, you know, I, I could throw other arguments in there, like the fact that if you jump off the tower, you can still do some killing while in the air, because you've got perfect air accuracy, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I just feel like mm. pe people usually reserve the tower for backlines, but that's something I never really considered, and something I don't really get... Uh, I, I, it could work. It definitely is something that is logical, but I don't see why it would be um, the only thing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't uh, know why people feel like I'm again, the one supposed tower, to get on the like, tower. What the, what, other, what the other role should be? Other role should be like defending the tower or push. Or just push for the enemy spawn, keep them at their spawn, like let them finish their objectives or like that stuff. Hmm. That's why I don't care because like um, because I need to keep the in order to keep the objective, you need to also kind of make the numbers advantage, right? Kind of, and you just need to like push enough, har keep harassing the enemy to keep them at their spot until like you push enough, then you can like until things get dicey, then you can like get out, right? Hmm. So that's so that's why um, uh, mainly that. The back, mainly that uh, the back lines uh, ride a tower because like if the back lines do that, then they the front end can just like safely go uh, to the front end. The back lines can just uh, assist that whatever kills that front has uh, failed to kill it, isn't it? That's um, kind of my argument here. Because okay. the front line that you got shot, it, because like in the tower, like immediately if you got shot, you need to like get out, right? But mm -hmm. yes, the tower is like protected by a bunch of front flankers and as yeah, so a back one you can like just keep track if there's any flankers going to be like more mm -hmm. dangerous then yeah that's this kind of my question though. Yeah I, I guess it just But I'm not sense. a comp player so like I uh, well me neither I'm, I'm not I'm really talking about like the the highest level but I I just basically it all of those strats you mentioned do make a lot of sense. I'm just like I don't feel mm. like it's necessarily um, like, you, you, you can experiment, it should be fine. You, you don't have a specific role that you need to do and you can't do anything else. You can experiment, I feel like. 
Um, yeah, we, we still have Spiral and A rack. Yeah. Would, but anyways, would, we can move on to other weapons. Yeah. Uh, would you other mind uh, me doing some matches with the bullpoint just to try it out? I've actually got tower control yep. here on um, on series, well, yeah, we can, so I could do that. We can see. All right, series now is tower haggles and under tower. Mm -hmm. So I will, mm -hmm. I will do Probably a few I matches and comment in what I'm doing. Because like the glass ceiling is going to be a lot of. You're gonna meet a lot of bombs on, on top of the glass ceiling, so I don't know if I should stand over there. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I, don't I'm think, so I don't think it's a good support position because you're only aim at the right side of the aim at the right side of the map instead of the map directly under you. <laughs> so yeah, you need to consider the bad like the positions for uh, under toe. I will bridge is still okay. You can just do go a bit front like that. But that's my type. Right, let's see how you do, do with the ball point. Yeah, I'm quite, inter quite interested. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, who's a bomb? It's also cool. I'm waiting for a custom kill for time. two. What a beacon. <laughs> custom kill where we have the beacon. Okay, we are playing with some pretty good players. All right, let's see. Tower control, haggle bridge. Okay. They've got long range. They got close range. They got holding power. Uh, okay. Good calm. Good calm. The one that can try to shoot range is. So I, I I will comment it what I'm thinking of. Um, you can just. Just watch, you don't right. necessarily oh, need to up. commentate. Oh, shut up. Okay. Currently, I'm just sitting in the middle, trying to hold down the ink. I'm gonna check the map, nobody's getting on the side, that's good. Okay. I'm trying to paint a lot on mid, that way we get pain control, and using the, the short fire mode. Putting lots of pain down. I okay. don't really need to put it on the left side, so I'm gonna stop. Oh, I need um, I have my inkjet. I'm gonna throw a uh, busy bomb before I plop my inkjet, and now inkjet down. Okay, got a kill. Let's try that guy. Got him. Good, we got two down on the enemy team. We can start moving forward. Uh, I think there's someone up there. I'm gonna start backing off and trying to kill that guy with the long range. Oh, never mind. Need to back off. Okay, I killed that guy at least. Um, the the, fi the fire rate is fast enough on the close range that you can, like, see that there, I reacted very badly. I didn't react in time, but you still managed to get a kill just because the fire rate is so fast that you can actually get enough mm. shots in on that guy, even though he started firing way earlier. Um, so currently the tower is on the left, on the right side, okay. Trying to hold down pain to help the crab. I'm gonna back off and start using my long range. Maybe try to get some kills on the other side of the tower. Uh, nearly got my special. Okay, that's good. Plopping the special here. Trying to fire the guy. Okay, killed him. That guy here as well. Okay. Uh, also, by the way, yeah, the sound is kind of delayed. Because um, the, the stream has some delay. I'm thinking maybe you can, you can mute me on Discord and just activate the sound on me. On Twitch, maybe. I mean, that's a theory. Because that way you get the sync audio. Unless that's already what you're doing. Uh, I am currently alone. This is not good. But I got my special, so I'll be able to hold it down. We got more points, so this is good. We just need to hold the score. Uh, okay, using my special. No, get off, get off. You're not gonna... You can okay. at me. Well, I'm dead. Okay, good climb. Good climb here at that, at that position. I need to take them back. Yeah, they're heavy. He's gonna go back in manually. They got a crab, so they're holding it down. I'm gonna start painting here, because it's not painting too well. Um, okay, 2v3, still doable. Oh, it is definitely not doable anymore. I need to start backing off. I'll use my long range mode to try to do something. Oh, they got the freaking thing back. It's definitely not very practical I don't see anything I am blind ooh, ooh, ooh. someone's getting too close how many do we get left 
No, 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 they must not get the points. Ah, and I died. Okay, we got the tower back. Two points away. This is tough. Uh, 2v1. Still doable. I'm gonna jump. Could be safe. I didn't use my fizzies enough, I feel like. Kind of forget that I have them. It's not something I think about too much. But then again, I've heard lots of people say that the fizzies are kind of weird on this weapon. Because it kind of... Like, you're, you kind of want to play with your charge, uh, figure out the, the charge times and stuff like this, and always have your charge ready and interrupt it. So, dropping it for the phases is kind of awkward. Ooh, 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 ooh. Might be. Not from behind. Let me check the map. I'm going to paint the, the flanks, that way we know if someone comes in. Uh, we got two down. This is not cool. I'm gonna start moving forward while the tower is still on the right side, that way we can pressure it from the left side. Okay, try to come at me. Yo. Okay, good, I got one. Okay, that guy is coming towards me. Not too good. But I think I am able to survive. So, as you can see throughout the match, I didn't really use my long range anymore. Um, that helped us in the beginning because we had a great push. I don't really know though about the end what I could have done. Probably could have pressured more with my long range shots. Probably. I'm not that good at aiming. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we still won. This is, this is good. Uh, let me see what the chat messages say. In general, you want to press on the... Okay... Okay... Yeah, PC on both points is used as a quick escape with the level 1 charge, or if you want to get a decent amount of paint at long range. Okay. I feel like it would be mainly for, like, specific situations. Where, where like, a PC would be great at doing damage, like, in a corner or something like that. Otherwise, I don't really know. Or maybe, like, something if you want to pressure uh, a backliner. And the fizzy could hold them out for longer because it just has three explosions. So that could be one way to make use of it. Um, mm, okay, I kind of see your point now. Okay. And um, I okay. So here's a thing I will admit I haven't used a lot of long range modes. So I, if you want, I can do a second game where I just focus on using the long range mode in as many situations that I can. Um, because I also need to kind of figure out my my. Uh, Aiming, hold on. I'm kind of shaky. Woo. Let me try to use the bamboozer for a sec. Fire, fire. Yep, my aiming is way too shaky right now. <laughs> okay. So, do you have any thoughts and your opinions on on the uh, game? No, wait. Saw? I'm switching audio. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. So, so I, I was saying, like, do you have any any thoughts or opinions on the game you saw? Any comments to make? Since oh, uh, you are the bullpoint main, after all. Okay, um... So... Uh, I'm trying to say, okay. You're you're not staying at tower, you're not staying at tower, but trick is uh, behind the tower and let the front line side deal with it. So... Um, the front line can, can like, jump off the tower like wherever they want. And Wolfpoint can, like, uh, assist them. Plus, it's like, one, one thing I don't really like when people say, Oh, I'm a backline, I should be on yeah, the tower. Like it's like, it's, uh, like, the tower has that thing, like, where if you jump off, it still stays still in, in where it is for, like, I don't know, like, two, five seconds. I forgot how, how much time. But it's a decent amount of time, so you have time to move off. Do some killing, do some painting if you need to for escape routes for later stuff like this, and then you can just jump back on the tower. And the pull point, the bullpen since it's it's good at like weaving in and out of, of long range, close range stuff like this. It's more mobile, so like I would definitely understand if as a hydra you want to stay on the tower and not move from the tower, because that way you can always uh, like just be higher ground, have better sight lines, have time to think about your charge. Uh, be harder to hit, right? Because you're you're a little bit higher. But then if you're the bull point, I feel like it's got enough mobility that it doesn't really need to like stick so closely to the tower. It, it can afford to move off of it, leave the tower on its own for a bit, and do some fighting. 
And as you can yeah, see, it, like, I, I ha as one point, it's definitely can. Uh, and also, I, I observed one thing that uh, as a ball point, you're not dealing like with the enemies like far enough. It means that like, you're too far behind the tower, and I kind of think you don't have enough range to like uh, get some assist. You know? I kind of feel like in Hago Fish. That's why. That's why I think so. Probably is. Uh, I need to watch the replay in order to uh, get confirmation. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. I, I, I definitely have a thing where I don't really like playing the objective too much. I like doing the painting and the killing on the side. That's because, yeah, I, back in the beginnings of Splatoon 2, that was, I was I would always focus on the objective. Now I kind of don't do it anymore. But I, it can definitely kind of work not too bad, as you saw in the beginning of the match at least. Um, and also another thing I was going to mention is I forgot. I'm probably mm -hmm. going to mention something. Uh, chat, what is chat saying? Uh, bullet point being on tower is more calm dependent than anything, mm-hmm. Like, if you have tr three slayers, you probably should write tower, but if you have support and two slayers, you can let the support write tower. Uh, that is an option, yeah. I, I, don't, point, know, I, I don't know why the slayers couldn't write the tower sometimes, you know? <laughs> because slayers, they kind of prefer mobility rather than something. Because as layers, you can like want to like attract attention. The second, the rest of two of them can like shoot the other people that are uh, slayers. Is tyrophobic, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I, 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 I do understand that. I do understand that because they can't prefer mobility. They don't want to like shoot with this power. Yeah. Well, uh, unless I, I'm playing a Slayer weapon, which is the splash, because then I would I would love to play on the tower and do some tower play. That would be fun. Um, mm, but sadly, have I have crab. dropped the splash. <laughs> unless you have crap, charge up, then I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I, I had another thing to say, which I completely forgot. It was about yeah. something. That's why. Let me, let me do I another game. Oh, yeah, it was about Just the map. Mm. It was about Hagglefish yes. Market specifically. Because I really like this map um, in Splatoon 3, just of, overall. And because mm -hmm. I feel like it gives viability to weapons that wouldn't usually get so much viability. Because since it's a flat and linear map, you can basically just play the range game. Um, you, if you get pressured, you can just go back. Basically, if you've got a weapon that is kind of hard to play, but but it has the advantage of having more range, like the Jet Squelcher, you got easy sightlines because it's linear. It's got like very big open mid. Uh, sight lines, mm -hmm. and if you get pressured, you can just go back. It's it's very practical. You can just I swim back. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I I do like that map for that. Uh, so let me start another match. I will try to focus on the lane range mode. I feel like I got enough um enough. Um... As long as you'll be like playing more as an anchor. Well, he here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think it's kind of pointless to like assign roles to the bullet point. Like say, oh, you should be anchor or or whatever, because. It's not like like you the firing modes right you switch them so quick uh, like oh I'm in close range now I'm, I'm gonna be in long range long range now I'm in close range again it's like it doesn't really matter it's not because you use a certain firing mode that you should be like anchor or slayer or whatever else word that you want to use it just depends on which one would be most useful for the situation um, mm. And right. you don't have to be like, oh, now I want to use my long range mode, so I'm going to move to an anchor spot. You're like, I'm going to move back. Doesn't matter if I'm in an in a anchor spot or not. I move back as, as much as I can to start firing long range, right? It's like, the, it, let's say there there's one player, right? One slayer. You're like, mm, I'm going to I'm gonna fight with them. I've got close range. And then another one props in. You're like, hmm, maybe I should start backing off and because I can't handle those two. So I'm going to start backing off and using my long range mode doesn't matter if you're on on a tower or anything you just i'm gonna back off and use more range because that's one thing you can do you can trade being close with having long range because that's a that's mm. your weapons gimmick yeah and yeah the, the first fire counts the short range smoke counts are used to uh deal with flanks and stuff okay so what do we got in Although the team comp we flanks. got Flash Blast on our side, which is pretty good at fighting against Tower. Okay. I feel like the Dapples aren't going to be as useful though. I mean, they're going to be good at slaying. 
Then we got the two end zaps, uh, the heavy and the duelies are going to be hard um, to play against because they're going to be able to get in very fast. Oh, so oh, currently, oh, I'm just focusing oh, on painting. Um, again, you can just switch the audio back to Twitch uh, if that's more useful. To get the same no, as I'm audio. A lot of time to Twitch, so I rather just, like shut up for me and limit myself. Okay. Yep. Um, someone is okay. Yes, so that that's the duels. Um, who got in close again? I feel like they're gonna be the main issue currently, and in, in this team comp because they're gonna be able to get way more close than I want them to be. Uh, so right now I'm gonna focus on using the long range modes as I said I would. I probably need to have better sight lines if I want to do that. Um, like I, we probably need to push the tower far enough. That where that it's like past the mid. Okay, let me fight with that heavy splashing. Never mind. Maybe I can take an off angle on the side on the left side here and flank them. Uh, maybe that's something I can do. I'm gonna paint an escape route on the wall here. That way, if I ever need to go back, I can I can go on the wall and start using my long range mode to prevent people from getting in. So here I'm not painting too much. I just got low ink. This kind of sucks. Gonna be. This guy. Nope, 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 nope. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm respawning on the other side. You are dead, because my fast fire rate is faster than yours. Um, I'm gonna start painting on the side to annoy them. Now they're getting close to me. I've got long range fire to contest them. Never mind, they've got crab. Okay. I'm gonna start using a freezy. Maybe that's gonna annoy them for a while without me having to be there, basically. Which is good. Try painting back to have an escape route. Okay. Uh, paint here on the side. Maybe I can take that angle actually if I want to use the long range mode. That could be useful. If I get pressure, I can always use my special. Uh, I feel like he's getting close. Maybe not. Okay. Good for now. Okay, I got one. I got one. This is good. Gonna back up that they're starting to throw some subs. Gonna defend the spot while my teammate respawns. Okay, good. Uh, Fizzy bomb, that way I can move in closer. I wanna use the long range fire rate of mode thing. Need to remember that. Where are the enemies? There's one on the left side. I'm starting even here. Hopefully nobody's there. Never mind. And they got me. Eat this. Oh, I'm getting that one there. Okay, forget about me. And now I do, I do this. Okay, good. So see there, I, I did a first shot with the long range fire rate, uh, fire mode, and then I was able to use uh, my close range one to finish him. So that's pretty useful. It's like, mm, I want to be precise, aim at some people. Oh, I hit a shot. Oh, he's getting closer. Now I just switch back to the to the close range fire rate, fire fire mode. And then I managed to hit more shots faster and with less accuracy to basically make sure I kill them. Very fast fire rate. I shouldn't have survived this, but it works. Okay, probably should have used my special there. Uh, how is the match looking? We still have the point advantage. We haven't gotten past the first checkpoint though, so... Need to be there with my teammates, assist them. Um, I don't want them to die. They might die. I'm not there with them. Um, gonna start painting, really painting. Because that way, at least if our team dies, we've got enough paint to stop them and get back to mid safely. I'm gonna start using my special before I die. Uh, definitely. That way, we get a little bit more pressure on the map. We get them back. That way, we don't necessarily get paint control in mid, but we get enough. Fuck it. Yeah, I, oh, I knew this kid. At least I did just the, the threat of being able to die by an inkjet makes you kind of back off. Don't think that was enough though. Uh, I don't like how this is going. I don't like this crab. I don't like this crab. We're gonna lose. Oh, it's going downhill. Arr! Okay, we gotta wipe out. I'm gonna start moving forward. We're gonna use the tower as a vantage point. 
Okay, got that guy. We need to kill that guy before he stops the tower. We've taken the lead. Okay, great, great. Um, so I guess I had a question for you because there's another thing that could influence like why some strats work and some others don't. For different players is like which rank we're on. Um, so what 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 is your rank, Mr. Big Jones? Okay, my rank. Actually, I'm currently sitting at A. Okay. Okay. And. Currently, I've seen it at A rank, and uh, yeah, mostly I don't do series. Mostly I do series like during weekends, but that series during weekends are kind of stressful. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, current currently I'm at um, S rank, so not too far off, and I'm playing series, so it's it's probably a little more a, a little bit more tense, a little bit better players, more focused players. So but yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of think that A is also really really strong. Yeah. Yeah. All right, about that match, I don't know because like I feel like the other we the other weapon rolls are kind of expecting, I don't expecting like somebody to take the tower actually. So that's why I see that uh, the power is not pushing that much because they're expecting someone to be on the tower. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the the match is kind of tense too because it's it's kind of uh, hard to create a really good number of advantage. Now you can only push the power by bits and bits. And bits. It's it's kind of basically I feel like whenever I, whenever I watch pro players I feel like their matches are really slow in terms of the objective but like there's so much stuff happening outside of the objective they're they're like it's like you've got the last piece of 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 a good meal that you want to eat right and you guys are fighting for who's gonna eat it and you guys are not even eating it or even thinking about the thing you're just like fighting so hard to have eating. the right to eat it and that's basically yeah, just like what happens we're, we're yeah. just getting a few points in the beginning of the match and we're just trying to fight to stay with those points and whenever someone gets lucky and gets a wipeout that's when you can make the major push but otherwise it's mainly a, a, a stalemate i like to call it um and I definitely like to participate in the stalemate, be be active in the fighting, not necessarily focus on the tower that much. Maybe to my detriment, because I do not even consider the tower. Like some, sometimes, you know, we get enough kills, we, we don't have the wipeout message. And since we don't have it, then my brain doesn't trigger. And it's like, oh, we got three, three down on the enemy team, and the tower is just sitting there, ready to be climbed on. Maybe I should do that, but my brain doesn't register it, because yeah. it's dumb. So yeah, I definitely have my Probably own issues. All from my salmon run, from my salmon run uh, instinct, like I keep uh, focusing on the hut uh, a bit more actually too. So when I see like a free wipe, then I'm like, oh, it's time to push out, push the objective, just run out. Like, yep. Yeah. De definitely, again, you know, like, shooters, shooters game like these with objectives, different things you can do like movement, shooting, ob objectives, stuff like this. It's like, it's a game of being able to focus on as many different things as you can at once and it definitely takes skill and even I am not uh, able to focus on every single thing at once but at least I can offer some tips on the things I do focus on which, well, they're not the objective but the, with the ballpoint I'm, I'm doing some pretty good fighting so that that's cool. Mm. I also like how you use the inkjet, like uh, the delayed shots that can like protect the escape routes of the opponents. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you is. if you noticed. Um, well, the, the the thing with the inkjet is that it's kind of hard to hit people um, directly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and get a kill. But if you see the radius of the explosion, it's kind of big, and that's ex that's paint that's gonna. It's kind of like a burst bomb, right? If someone tries to escape, you throw a burst bomb their way. And they're gonna be struggling to get past the burst bomb. Basically, they're gonna like be kind of stuck for a second, and that allows you to aim your your other shots. So I don't know if you saw during the game, but like someone was trying to take the ramp to get back to their base, and I, I was kind of yeah, like, mm, I'm not gonna be able to hit them because they're moving too fast. I kind of tried to hit above, like in front of them. That way they can't really get up the ramp, and maybe with enough uh, shots that hinder them, at some point they're gonna get enough damage to die. And that's mainly the way I kill people with the inkjet, uh, as, as you probably could have said. My, my, probably my, uh, how to say, my mindset of thinking about like, I'm like preventing him to like getting through the ramp, like firing shots like uh, just like in front of him. Okay, you're getting that ramp, no you're not. Uh, like, if you want to get that ramp, then you're going to get flat. Yep. So that just punish him accordingly. Yeah, that's Ooh. why I kind of my technique with inkjet. 
I, I mean, kind of like you treat it as an area denial. Like I'm yep. not letting you get into this area. Exactly. Yes. Great vantage point and good area denial. It's actually pretty similar if you think about it to how the to how the explosion plays. Yeah. Um, I, I do. I do feel like. Uh, actually, the inkjet and the crap tank are kind of similar, because uh, the crap tank allows you to be a, um, a, a kind of an explosher for a while. But he, yep. I, I still feel like the the crap tank is way too overpowered uh, compared to other. Like, it's not overpowered. It just has too much options of things that you can do. Because the inkjet, while it does function like an explosher, I feel like the crap tank's explosher shots just are better, have more like range uh, on the explosion and stuff. Also, well, the, the thing that the inkjet has over the crap tank is that it can fly, Covered basically, so it can get on top of cover that the crap tank would have a hard time getting it on. Cover mid -air, yeah. yeah, so that, that's pretty cool. We can also get on, on spots like, for example, on Hagglefish, the two towers on the side. Very useful. Crap tank could, could never go there, so that's that's something cool. But then the crap tank, it can, use, it can be a Hydra also if it wants to. Also, crap tank, it has like... Uh, invincibility if you get in the ball. So yeah, crap thing definitely has a little bit too um, much. Invincibility in the ball, I kind of disagree because like you can shred the ball. It, well, it, well yeah, but like, it's it's um, like a very big shield, which can move. It's it is, it's, but it's you have object shredder than it's actually the crap though. <laughs> well, well yeah, yeah, but basically it's like it's like whenever you pop a booyah bomb, you got some armor. But th th here the armor can move. <laughs> like it uh, it, yeah, it, yeah, it right. does all. It, Kind of a lot of things that other specials do, but it does it all at once. That's kind of the thing. It doesn't. It feels like it has too much. But anyways, I don't know where we're even talking about the tra the crap thing. Should probably reserve that talk for my podcast. Um. So I get. I guess with this, we're we're good. Uh, Unless you do want to do some additional games with, where you pick the ballpoint point and I kind of try to play with you. Uh, otherwise, I think we're good. Maybe. Also, also you're lagging right now. Uh, it does. It uh, can't hear you correctly. 